Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, HDP CD practice exam or Hortonworks Data Platform Certified Developer Practice Exam which covers Hive and Pig uh, in detail from the exam perspective. We have already completed 5 tasks, in this video I will be covering the 6th task. So this is analyzing data with Hive, there are 3 sub tasks. The first thing is you have to create a file with name flightdelays.hive. So in the location home hot on solutions. So I'm go going on to the terminal on the certification exam EC2 instance. And there is a directory called solutions in the home directory. So I'm under home hot on solutions. Okay. Now they are asking to create a file with name flightdelays.hive. So copy this file name and then uh, VAE or whatever editor you want to use, you can use that editor and here we have to write three queries. The three queries are compute the average arrival delay of flights landing in Denver. Compute the average arrival delay of flights where the origin is LX and the destination is SFO. Determine which destination airport had the highest average arrival delay. So in none of these tasks they did not mention any table name. Um, probably they might have missed it or you, you can expect the question like this but this is dependent on the earlier uh, questions so you can go here and last time we created a hive table as part of task 4 and the hive table name is flight delays so you have to run all the queries against the flight delays okay so I am opening another session in the terminal let me come out of this and uh, let me get the ssh command to connect to the terminal in my case i am actually connecting from my mac to the ec2 instance and uh, trying to do it over there but uh, at the time of certification you have to do it on the ec2 instance itself opening the terminal okay so you don't need to do ssh in your case at the time of the certification ok so now I am launching hive here and I am opening the file uh, flightdelays.hive to write those three queries so I will be testing the queries here and uh, if the query works I will directly paste it into that uh, script or the file flightdelays.hive ok so now let's review the question the first one is compute the average arrival delay of flight landing in Denver so describe flight delays you can see the column names here and also see the preview before writing the queries limit 100 now we have to compute the average delay average arrival delay of flights landing in Denver so select average is the function name arrival delay is the column name you can look at the output of the describe on the table name you can see there is a column called arrival delay from flight delays ok where destination equal to Denver they have given that then and hit enter and now we will see the average delay in a moment if they ask you to run this in test engine you have to make sure that the engine is set to test otherwise you can run either way so let, us, let me copy this query while it is running and paste it here I am sure this is correct so I am pasting it here even before it ran successfully you can see the average delay average delay is 7 seconds or 7 minutes actually so the flights that are uh, uh, having uh, destination as uh, Denver have 7 seconds average delay of all the flights I think there are 495 flights where destination equal to Denver and then compute the average 
arrival delay of flights where the origin is origin is lax and the destination is FFO. Okay. So the same query here origin equal to LAX. So if you hit up arrow, you will get the previous query. And so we have to use Boolean operators here and destination equal to SFO and hit enter. Okay, here they are not asking to compute uh, averages on daily basis or anything. They are just asking us to compute a average arrival delay of all the flights uh, that matches those criteria uh, in the entire data set. There is no group by operators required here. Okay, and uh, it is 62.5. Okay, so the flights which are traveling uh, between LX and uh, SFO, the average delay is 62.5 seconds, or 62.5 minutes actually. So it's more than an hour. So let's copy paste this this query also into our file, where we have to update our solutions. And now determine which destination airport had the highest average arrival delay okay so now we have to group by destination and then get the average arrival delay and then sort descending by average arrival delay and then get the first record uh, which uh, which have the uh, which have that average uh, uh, highest average arrival delay okay so there is no uh, conditions here only thing is you have to group by uh, destination because they are asking determine which destination airport had the highest average de arrival delay. So first we have to group by destination. So the query will look like this. Select destination, comma, average arrival delay. Make sure you give the alias here. I am giving it as average arrival delay. You can give any name here. If you, um, you can also optionally give as in between before giving the alias. And then from what is the table name flight delays okay and uh, first we have to group by destination because we have to compute arrival delay uh, at each destination average arrival delay at each destination so group by dest and order by average arrival delay here you uh, we have to use the average arrival delay as alias you cannot give the function directly here it will not work you have to give the uh, aliases of the columns that are defined in the select clause and we have to do it in the descending order and then as we have to get the highest one just run the limit one okay and hit enter you will get the destination and uh, the average arrival delay of the top record after uh, descend uh, after sorting by uh, average arrival delay in descending order for each of the destinations for all the destinations so this query will give the destination which have the highest average arrival delay. Okay, let me copy while it is running. It's almost done. You can see that SFO is the uh, destination which have the highest uh, average arrival delay which is 54 minutes in this case. Sometimes there can be more than one destinations which have the highest uh, uh, arrival delay. In that case it's little bit tricky. It's not as straightforward as using limit here. You have to write more complex query. Even though they did not cover as part of the certification practice exam tasks. I will just show you how you can actually get all the destinations which have the highest average uh, arrival delay. So for that, first you have to do select star from, you have to write the query which get, uh, so if there are uh, multiple rows which have highest delay, then uh, you can use something called windowing functions, it's more advanced SQL. Uh, so uh, first we have to compute average delay for each of the destination so it will give uh, the destination average delay 
so if there are 25000 records there will be 25000 records but it will partition by destination and it will give you the average delay so there will be so much of uh, so many duplicates so let me show you first i will run this uh, uh, inner query with the uh, three columns destination arrival delay and the um, windowing function column average arrival delay and let me show you by running this query what will happen is it will get 25000 odd records with uh, destination arrival delay and average de arrival delay for each destination so you can uh, watch the out output in a moment once you get that we need to get the distinct of destination and average arrival delay because the average arrival delay will be duplicate for each of the uh, destination once you get the destination and average arrival delay uh, after applying the distinct we can apply the windowing function again uh, which is rank in this case and also we want to order by average arrival delay in descending order to get the rank so within each uh, so within the entire data set we are trying to get the average arrival delay by descending order by average arrival delay and then we are applying our, uh, the derived column r and k uh, equal to 1 in in the sub query uh, on the query and then uh, we will get the uh, output okay which will retrieve only the top one you can see here even though this tus have many records for each of them the average arrival delay is same because the average arrival delay is computed for all the tus records okay by computing all these things like that for each and every destination there will be many uh, redundant average delay records uh, because of the windowing functions for that reason we have to apply the distinct operator so in this case i got distinct destination and average arrival delay i dumped arrival delay here it is not required that you have to have arrival delay here i just uh, added to showcase how the data will look like after running this query it will it will get the destination and uh, uh, distinct destination and average arrival delay for each destination and on top of that i am applying a, another windowing function which is called as rank uh, over uh, uh, this uh, derived column average arrival delay in descending order so the highest one will have the uh, the the one which have the highest arrival delay will have the rank one if there are multiple all of them will have the rank one and uh, we have applied the rnk equal to one function to get all the um, destinations which have the highest arrival delay so this is the uh, more functionally accurate query uh, than limit one but for our certification practice exam um, this is good enough so if you run this query you will get the same output sfo and its uh, delay okay i have to add one more uh, here so here what i have to do is select destination average arrival delay from Okay, I think now it will work. Let me see. Yes, now it is running. Once it is run, you will see the SFO and uh, its uh, delay because the SFO is the one which have the highest average delay. So this query is far more complicated and it uses the windowing functions. Um, the flexibility of windowing functions is not uh, as much as uh, other relational databases, but uh, uh, it works um, for most of the standard windowing functions even in hive it will work if you are familiar with uh, windowing functions probably it is a good idea to use windowing functions for these kind of uh, rank type uh, queries rather than using limit one because uh, as i mentioned to you earlier 
if there are multiple destinations which have uh, the highest average arrival delay this this query will give only one record so be careful um, if you if you are uh, familiar with windowing functions use this one but if you are not familiar don't worry about this because it will take a very long time to write this query and uh, validate it now you can see that we got sfo and uh, uh, the output okay so that being said we have completed all the tasks in this task zero uh, uh, all the items in the task zero six uh, we have computed average arrival delay of flights landing landing in denver computed average arrival delay where origin is lx and uh, the destination is sfo and also we have determined which destination airport had the highest average delay in this case it's uh, sfo and uh, they are not asking you to store the results anywhere they just uh, ask you to uh, save the hive queries in this file home hot on solutions flight delays dot hive which need not be runnable they will not run this uh, uh, means when i say which need not be runnable means you don't need to worry about um, whether this query ha has to be run as a script using hive or anything you don't need to worry about it you just write all the three hive queries uh, as a solution for this task that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you uh, want to discuss further about uh, certifications or big data please uh, uh, join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye